Okay, so in this video I will show you how you can transfer really large files really really fast between iOS devices like the iPhone and the iPad Air 4 that I have here using Apple's technology called AirDrop. This technology makes it so easy and fast to transfer large files. It's even faster than transferring from a hard drive to the iPad or from a USB stick to the iPad or the SSD to the iPad and so on. Using AirDrop makes it so so much faster. So let's start by going to settings and activate AirDrop on your device. You do the same on both the iPhone and iPad. So here on the iPad I go into settings and you scroll down here to general and here in general you have AirDrop. And here in the AirDrop settings you can choose different ways to activate AirDrop. As you can see you can have receiving off. That means that this device can't receive files from others. But if you have contacts only you can receive and send files to your contacts. And if you have everyone on you can receive and send files to everyone. So I have chosen here contacts only because that is a bit safer. Well, I think AirDrop is safe enough even if you have everyone because you always get a notification when someone wants to send a file to you. So you can't get a file without you knowing. So with that notification you can always say no to the file. But this is the way to activate AirDrop. And you go into the same settings on the iPhone. You go into settings general and AirDrop and turn that off on both these devices. So now when we have AirDrop activated, I will show you how you can transfer a file using AirDrop. But first I will show you how big the file is while going into File Browser Go, a file manager app that I, that I really love. This file manager app is the best on the market. You can do so much with this file manager app. And as you can see here on the top I have a video and the video size, the video file size is 1.29 gigabyte. So that's quite a huge file, 1.29 gigabytes. So this file I will now transfer to the iPhone. And I also forgot to say that you need to have Bluetooth on. AirDrop uses both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and it uses a Wi-Fi direct connection so you don't need to be on a Wi-Fi network yourself. You can be in the middle of the woods and send files using AirDrop because it creates a Wi-Fi network between the devices. So you only need to have Wi-Fi on and Bluetooth on but you don't need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. That is very nifty when it comes to AirDrop technology. That means that now when I have both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on on both devices, Bluetooth is used for identity identity and Wi-Fi is used for speed. So that's why you need both technologies, both features on, on both devices. So now I want to transfer that file to this iPhone from this iPad. So let's go into photos like so. Here is that file, 1.29 gigabyte large. So let's select that. Then down here you have the share button. As you see now I have selected one file, this video file. And now just click the share button. And here we see all the devices that you can share to. These devices that you can share to has the airdrop symbol as you can see the blue strange symbol so now i can share this file to this iphone and that is this iphone so it is as easy to just click on stefan's iphone that it says there and then the transfer starts you need to have the the screen on on the device you should send the file to that's important so you know that 
So now let's start the transfer by clicking here. Now it waits. Now it sends. As you can see here now, it sends the file. And as you can see, it goes quite fast. 1.29 gigabyte of file size. And as you can see, it transfers quite fast. You need to have great. And as you can see, now it soon is transferred. One point twenty nine gigabytes of file size, and now it's transferred. As you can see, here is the video. Now it's in my photo app on the iPhone. So that is how easy it is to transfer a large file to your device. You can transfer that files between these devices really really fast if i would have been forced to use a hard drive like this one i would first plug that hard drive into the device with a file and transfer that file to the hard drive and then take that hard drive to the ipad for example and plug that in and transfer that file to the ipad before i can use it so airdrop is so much faster because you can just choose the file or files that you want to send to the ipad from the iphone for example or other way around and then just transfer them with airdrop between the devices and everything goes really really fast safe and secure and you can do it everywhere you are you don't need to be connected to wi-fi the only thing you need to be uh, is that you need to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on. You need to have that on on both devices and both devices should have the display on and then just transfer and it goes so fast and you can do that to all your friends and family and so on. If they have an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone then you can do that. You can also use a Mac, of course. You can transfer file from a Mac to an iPad using AirDrop. You can transfer iPhone files to the Mac and so on really, really fast using AirDrop. So if you have an Apple device, just start using AirDrop. It's so, so fast. And I, as I said, it's much easier to do than having a hard drive between to transfer them and so on and it's much easier if you have an iPhone you can't connect on hard drive and, and you can transfer from the iPhone to the iPad easily because you can't connect on hard drive for example so using an iPhone with files that you want to transfer to the iPad AirDrop is the way to go okay that was a tutorial on how to transfer files easily and fast between iOS devices using Apple's technology AirDrop. Please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need more subscribers so do that please. Okay, bye.